Hello and welcome back viewers and subscribers of AVG News. Uh, I'm here because there are people who, after our video this morning and the one that we did on Friday, are flocking to our WhatsApp and Facebook page to inquire about which type of permits they should apply for, whether or not they must apply for a waiver, or what else they need to do. And this is what I'm going to respond to. But before I go ahead, let me request you, as usual, to subscribe to this channel, to like this video, and to share it. If you're already subscribed, we thank you very much. Please keep on coming here to check on what we have on offer. And as we promised, we are going to make sure that almost every two days in the list, we are going to have a, a time when we respond to people who are in a rush to apply for the Zimbabwe exemption, uh, for mainstream South African permits from the Zimbabwe exemption permit because time is fast running out and there is a lot which needs to be done. Uh, to those who want to know what type of permit they should apply for, uh, it is not easy for us to tell you which permit to apply for because it all depends on what qualifications you have. But what we can advise you to do is to go to this DHA website. Uh, it's www.dha.gov dot z a and check there the available permit options they also have uh, against them the requirements uh, that is the qualifications the uh, application criteria and uh, what you need to produce in order for you to qualify for any of the permits so what you need to go to do is check uh, on all the permit options and depending on your qualifications or situations or relationship with people who have uh, maybe citizenship here or who are South Africans or who, are, who have permanent residence permit, then you can choose which type of permit you need to apply for. Uh, so it is not easy for us to tell you because uh, to tell you which permit option then to go for because it is not a one size fits all. It all depends on the individual what they have. Do you have the necessary qualifications? Do you have the necessary experience? Do you have the critical skills that are needed? Do you have any relations who are South Africans uh, by citizenship who are holders of a permanent residence permit in South Africa, then any of you, uh, uh, any of uh, of those uh, can then enable you to aptly choose which type of permit to go for. Uh, I hope that one is made clear. And then to those who are asking us if they should apply for a waiver, again, it's very difficult for us to say because, again, this is dependent on an individual situation. There is desperation, of course, because everybody needs to be seen doing something or everyone now wants to be seen doing something. But uh, if you need to ask anybody or if you believe that even without the qualifications that you have, even without the relations that may help you apply for any other, uh, which is maybe piggyback, which may enable you to piggyback uh, on your relationship or on your relations who may be South Africans, who may be uh, holders of the permanent residence permit, or who may be here in different uh, means but legal, uh, then we cannot easily advise you on what else to do, but uh, the choice is all yours. If you want to then uh, talk to the VFS Global uh, officials, you can check them on, uh, on, on, on the internet 
Uh, when you go to Google, you, you, you check VFS Global South Africa ZEP. VFS Global South Africa ZEP. It will take you directly to the uh, section where you can then look up their numbers or even their email addresses or you can even check on how to apply because it's well laid out there there are some word prompts text prompts that you need to follow and then it will take you to where you need to be but if you even after trying this still fail to apply then you can also contact us via the comment section uh, of this underneath this video uh it may take us some time to respond you can also contact us via whatsapp but again because of the large volumes of the messages that we keep getting and the request for assistance in terms of applying we may take time to respond to you because we also have other issues to deal with so you will have to be a bit more patient with us because there are a number of issues that we are attending to and there are a number of other inquiries and requests for assistance that we need to satisfy uh, so i hope this is clear or it clears a number of uh, questions on your side or a number of issues on your side but if still you are left with questions use this comment section underneath this video or whatsapp us you can even email us as well and as and when we get the time we are going to respond to you but the advice that we give you is take advantage of the remaining nine months to apply for whatever permit you believe you qualify for to apply for whatever waiver that you believe uh you need before you can go on with your application process because according to what the minister said on friday this is the last chance uh, that you have because there will be no other extension to this grace period. This is according to what uh, the minister said in his statement uh, on Friday. They said that there will be no other extension granted uh, for this uh, process. And they've also appointed an outside legal firm to handle all court challenges relating to the decision by the Minister of Home Affairs to not extend the exemptions granted to the Zimbabwean nationals and other related matters. So it means that it's going to be tough ahead if you don't qualify and legalize your stay here in South Africa. I hope this makes it very clear for you and this then underlines the agency that uh, you, you you must treat this matter with it's not going to be easy we have seen some glimpses of what is going to happen or what is likely to happen next year uh, it's going to be very tough people are going to be arrested people are going to be deported people are going to be charged people are going to be blocked from entering south africa they are going to be declared illegal i mean uh, uh, they're going to be declared uh Prescribed, eh, what do you call it? They're going to be declared 